The infrastructural developments are set to happen on the western end of Tobago and as a direct result of the Sandals Resort coming to Tobago. This from the Tobago House of Assembly's Chief Secretary over London as he sought again to clear up some misconceptions surrounding the plans to bring the Cabrian brand resort to Tobago. Patricia Nicholson has been following this development closely and has the latest. Although Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley had mentioned the construction of a desalination plant in Tobago West when he spoke about a Sandals resort coming to Tobago, Chief Secretary Orville London said this development is not as a direct result of the resort. He said it's mainly due to the water shortages being experienced. And just to, to let you understand that the two things are not necessarily related, it was since between April the 7th and the 17th, of this year that the WASA would have sent out the request for expressions of interest. And in fact, uh, 42 submissions were received. Of those 42, 11 were shortlisted and a request for proposal. Proposals would be sent out to the, those selected from the, from the shortlist. So that is something that really was in on the pipeline or on the joint board even before we had started having these serious discussions. Mr. London refuted claims about plans moving ahead without Tobagonians being kept abreast. He said since the initial discussions began between Dr. Rowley and Sandals CEO Butch Stewart, the THA has been giving regular updates. When Mr. Stewart came to Tobago, we made an announcement. When he came back to Tobago, we made an announcement. When the online, we made a state, in fact, we might have made two or three statements about that. And we continue to make statements. Again, Mr. London said no man's land is not included in the proposed sites for the resort. So the proposed siting of the resort is the Buku Golden Grove Estate, which is over 600 acres. On a very small percentage, I think maybe less than 1% of the Boko Golden Grove Estate is what is traditionally known as no man's land. So when people speak about the, the resort being placed on no man's land, it is either mischief or misinformation. What happens with no man's land, which is located in the same area, is up for discussion. Mr. London said Sandals is a $2 billion investment a joint venture between the central government and the THA. No concrete information on plans for the resort has been disseminated to the public just yet. However, the Prime Minister did say construction will take some two years to complete. I am Patricia Nicholson for CNews.